guys, I wanted to do a video today comparing our cat trees. I know how stressful it can be trying to buy a cat tree because there are so many different types of cat trees out there. Before we got Annie and Molly, I was searching for weeks for the right cat tree. It helps to know what you want beforehand. Ask yourself if you want a tree that looks nice or if you want a big sturdy tree or maybe you just want a tree that is easy to clean. I hope that this video will be helpful to others. For this video, I am going to compare these trees from biggest to smallest. Surprisingly, our most expensive tree wasn't our biggest. I will say pros and cons about each of these trees. I will also post the links to these trees in the description of this video if you're interested in getting one of these trees for your cat. The first tree is the Frisco 72 inch cat tree with the large base in the color cream. We got this tree from Chewy.com and I actually already did a video re reviewing this tree if you want to watch that video. So some of the pros for this giant tree is obviously its size. It is very, very big and it has a large base. It is 72 inches tall and Chewy actually sells two different versions of this tree. One is a little bit bigger, which is the one that we have. So if you want to get this tree, you have to make sure you get the one that has the larger base because that's the one that we have. This tree also looks really nice and it's a very affordable price. We got this cat tree for less than $100, which if you go into a pet store, you will find a tree this size for like $200. Another pro is it comes with these little mouse toys, which are nice for your cats to play with. Now for some cons. My least favorite thing about this tree is the material sheds and little pieces will fall off and I constantly have to vacuum it. And it's honestly the hardest tree that we have to clean. It takes me the longest to clean and I don't like that. The material on this tree is also really thin and it's starting to come off where our cats scratch it. So for example, right here, our cats like to scratch this part and it is already starting to fall apart and not sure how long this is going to last. We might end up taking off this bottom ramp if they end up scratching it too much. Now I know I just said that a pro for this tree is that it's very big, but this can also be a con for some people depending on how small your space is. This tree is very big and it does take up a lot of space in your house. It is also pretty heavy and hard to move. And the last con for this tree is the top perches are just a little bit small for my liking, but all of our cats still fit on them. I just wish that they were a few inches bigger all around. Okay, the next tree I'm going to review is our 48 inch Art Deco styled cat tree by Contempo Cat. Some of the pros of this tree are that it is super, super easy to clean, which I love. It literally takes me less than two minutes to clean this entire tree. Use a vacuum or a lint roller and the whole tree is clean in less than two minutes. This tree also looks really nice and modern. I love how unique looking it is. And I love how there's holes on the sides because our cats like to go through them. Another pro is the shelves are nice and long and they're big enough so that all of our cats can fit on them at the same time. Or one of our cats can lay their whole body on it. We actually took our cats' profile picture on this tree by lining them all up on the top. Another pro for this tree is that it's made out of solid birch plywood and not particle board. And now for the cons. There's actually not that many cons about this tree. Honestly, I just love this tree so much. But if you are looking for a cat tree that has a scratcher on it, then this tree might not be for you because this cat tree actually doesn't have any place for your cats to scratch. And the only other con that I can think of is that it is pretty expensive. 
Okay, the next cat tray that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Vesper V High Base Cat Tree. And this is 47.8 inches tall in the color oak. This cat tree right here is honestly my favorite cat tree that we've ever had. My husband likes this one a lot too, but he also likes the tall 72 inch one. So some of the pros for this cat tree are that it's very nice looking, it's very pleasing to look at, and it almost looks like a piece of furniture. Probably my favorite thing about this tree though is how easy it is to clean. It's super easy to clean, just like this one over here that I just talked about. I just have to clean these pads and I will just vacuum them or use a lint roller on them and they will be cleaned in less than two minutes. These pads can also be removed and washed, which is nice because they have Velcro underneath them. I am also obsessed with this top platform because it is big enough for our cats to lay out and stretch out their whole body and I love that because it is so hard to find cat trees where your cat can just lay comfortably on the top. I also love this box. This box gets used every single day and our cats take turns using it. The last thing that I like about this tree is that it has this little thing where you can hang toys. Even though I absolutely love this tree, it does have some cons. So some of the cons for this tree are the scratch posts. I don't really like them that much. I feel like they're not going to last very long because of what they're made out of. We've only had this tree for a few months though, so we will see how it holds up. Another con for this tree was one of these ball toys that it came with already got destroyed. So once they all fall off, we're probably going to just replace it with some other toys. And the last con for this tree is that it was an expensive tree, but it is worth it if you want a nice looking cat tree that is not covered in carpet and it's easy to clean. The next tree I'm going to review is the Frisco 24 inch two-story cat condo in the color cream. I actually just did a video on this tree as well if you want to watch that video. So some of the pros for this cat condo are that it's cute looking. It's also small and easy to move and it fits in small places because it doesn't take up a lot of room. There's enough room if you have bigger cats. I like that it has three spaces for our cats to use at the same time. One could go on top like Susie is right now and then two could go in the little cubes. Two cats can also cuddle together and share this top part. It also has scratchers on the side which I really like because then our cats can also scratch it and they do scratch it a lot. I also love the color. This cube also came just like this in one piece in the mail, so that's great if you don't like to put things together. Now for the cons, the material makes fur stick to it, so it's kind of a pain to clean it. And also, it doesn't come in any other colors right now, so you have to get the cream color if you want to get this. And the last tree that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Frisco 20 inch cat tree in the color ivory. Some of the pros for this tree are it's actually a cute little hammock style tree. This tree is small and easy to move and fit in small places. It also comes with little ball toys and I like that it has scratch posts. So now for some of the cons for this hammock tree. Because of the material, fur tends to stick to it, so it has to be cleaned more frequently. And then one of the ball toys ripped off the day like after we got this, so it's pretty cheap, but you get what you pay for. And that's going to be it for this video. Please keep in mind that everything I mentioned is based off my opinion. Obviously, everyone's going to have their own opinions. I love all of these cat trees for different reasons. I wasn't trying to complain, I just hope that this video will be helpful to someone who's looking for a cat tree but might not know where to start. Our cats also love and use these cat trees every single day. We haven't had any problems with them not using any of these trees. 
If you have any questions about these trees, please comment them below and we will answer them. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.